Hello everyone, it's Tabby. I'm, uh, playing Tales of Vesperia. So, um, I decided I... Okay. There are so many! We'll crush them all! All right, who's next? Dwell in this blade. Sharpness. Eight. It'll so, be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. I, I decided. You look very good swinging a sword, Yuri. Oh, she's You're not bad yourself, Estelle. Really? My swordmaster used to scold me terribly. Well, I have to admit I'd be surprised no. if you look too natural. I really don't like fighting. I don't like hurting people. How ladylike of you. But if I don't fight, I'll end up hurt myself, right? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I wish I could enjoy fighting like you do, Yuri. You think I enjoy this? Don't you? I mean, the way your eyes shine, that only happens when you're fighting. Oh, oh really? <laughs> oh. oh, pretty observant. Yes, I like watching people. And the way your lips curl when you unleash corporal punishment, <laughs> I find it very enticing. Anyway, so I was playing this on the Switch. I decided to go with the Xbox version. It has better graphics. <laughs> so that's why it's now suddenly Xbox oriented. Also, I just like using Xbox controllers more. They're more comfortable to me instead of a tiny little wand. A forest in a place like this can only mean the Koi Woods? Oh no, not the Koi Woods. Bingo. You're just full of information, aren't you? I forgot what happens here. <laughs> I read in a book once that a curse will <clears throat> fall upon anyone who enters the woods. They say that if you look at the at this this one flower that dangles from a tree, they, they say that if it's underneath you, the mistletoe, if it's if you walk underneath it with someone else, you you have to kiss them. It's a curse. I don't want to have to live with you, Curry, with with you, Yuri. I'd rather be Flynn. <laughs> ah. So that must be the surprise. Yes. Not going in? It's fine by me, but what about Flynn? Flynn will die a horrible, miserable death. And his last words will be, Estelle, why didn't you come to warn me? Blech. I know. Okay, let's go. Will this forest really get us to the other side of the hold? <laughs> if it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? If that happens, I'll take care of you. With a you sword. Take care of me? Yes. Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs and snakes when I was a kid. If you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any idea what to feed you. Aww. Hi. Guess we can do this. As you're Take this. Oops. I accidentally paused. That was easy. Yeah, easy. Oh man. It looks more lively and vibrant. Hi. Hi. Bye. Sorry. I'm not really interested in fighting at the moment. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, watch, he'll, he'll disappear after a few seconds. 
If they if they get stuck and they can't catch you, they just kind of fade. Any second now. Any second. Oh crap, he's loose! <laughs> That was easy. Stop using just pow hammer. <laughs> anyway. What a beautiful air what a beautiful place this game. Don't get sloppy. Oh yeah, sure. Give the dog the sharpness. Is that the person who does most of the attacks? Resound! Do cry a victory! All right. You missed a couple skits because I was doing some extra things before I caught up to where I was. There, there, there are some skits that you have yet to see. Pro and we'll never see, probably, now. Sorry for that. But, this is a Did great game. Something? I am kind of hungry. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. My feet feel cold all of a sudden. Oh no, is this the curse? Oh no, not the cold feet curse. What sort of curse is it supposed to be anyway? The voices of corpses buried beneath the trees creep up and lure us to our doom. Oh, brother. Is, is that the curse, or is she making that up? What's that? It's a broken Blastia core. I'm just telling you what it is. It's a broken Blastia core. Or a broken Blastia. Blastia. What's it doing in a place like this? Well, it probably was a town at one point, and then the Blastia was destroyed. And Let's take a break. I I'm alright. Huh? What's this? <gasps> Estelle! You notice how the Blastia was inactive before she touched it? Damn, that's bitter. You all right? The Plastia, it spoke to me. It said that Yuri's a bitch. Oh, my head feels a little... I'll be fine. What happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. All right, so air, A-E-R, not air, A-I-R. A-E-R, air, is energy. It is what feeds into the Blasias. It is what makes their arts. It is what makes their magic. A thick air can make one violently ill. It's called air poisoning. Air. It's sort of like the fuel that powers the Blastia, right? It's more than that, but he's got the gist of it. I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. I'm glad they summed this up for me. <laughs> yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. Hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. And of course, there are people who are sensitive to air. But I can't. If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... <laughs> what if you collapse again, and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, it's the way she sits down. I'm not doing you any favors. This is a very bitter fruit, and I don't want to eat it. Ugh. <laughs> I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. 
It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, that's why that's why Hold I'm crying second. right now. I can make something simple. You can cook, Yuri? He's into Yuri. Of course he knows how to cook. I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. I seriously... Aren't you worried at all that Flynn is in danger? These two women hanging out. One dubbed by English people because they didn't want to show a lesbian couple on screen. Huh? Does it look that way? Well, yes. Honestly, if anyone believes that, He's thank you. He's always to take care of himself. <laughs> Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, whatever. Being a woman. <laughs> After he'd won, he'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? That must be nice. I've never had anyone like that in my life. Quick, Estelle, how far back can you remember? You can count yourself lucky. Well, dinner's ready. Thank you for the meal. Nicole Sazama. Uh, it wasn't anything special. I thought it was very tasty. I can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. Because I'm a royal, you see, and we have peons to do that for us. It's just like using a sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. Yeah. You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Watch. Cooking clears your mind, and it's great for regaining lost energy. Cooking has a lot of other effects as well. This is pretty much everything I know how to cook right now. A sandwich. That's not cooking. That's meal preparing. <laughs> so, in order to make a sandwich, you'll need bread and an egg. Why? That's not a sandwich. That's an egg sandwich. Which we just happen to have right here. After choosing the ingredients, it's time to cook. And there you are, a delicious meal. Where did those other things come from in the sandwich? Because I, I see some red and some green. That's a lot more than just eggs, if you ask me. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. Well, I mean, if he is using an egg, I guess it actually is cooking then. Well, it comes more naturally. He does to have to cook the egg. Others. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Yeah, you have to progress and be good at it. You have to, like, do it a really? lot. Really? So you can mess it up? Oh, hell yes. Well, you usually taste your food while cooking, but some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. What is it, Repeat? I smell. You well, two are into each going? other. <laughs> we can't seem to find our way through this forest at all. Oh! Could this be the curse? What should we do, Yuri? There really was a curse after all. Don't be stupid. <laughs> or do you not have a good sense of direction? No, of course I do. I think. I think. <laughs> then maybe it's my fault. What should we do? Got to spin around three times to the fool. But I wish something could cure a bad sense of direction. <sighs> all right, time to continue on. Hi, excuse me. Hi, pardon me. Ooh, yay. There we go, hard mail. Ah, uh, yeah, gotta swap out the equipment when you get new ones, you know, like any game. Or has seconds. 
As much as I love Tales of the Arise's uh, progression system, it will never beat having a screen like this at the end of the fight, where they do their little level up dances. Repeat, when I passed out, you laid down and made the nicest pillow for me. Thank you very much. What are you doing? I'm, um, thanking Repeat. Repeat? He's not here. Huh? What? Maybe he doesn't like me. Nah, he acts like that with just about everybody. Well then, I'll just have to keep trying until he accepts me. You could probably try wearing a different outfit. <laughs> Sorry, I've been kind of sick for a while. Repeat's angry at something. Pre prepare to die, Egg Bear! Ah, the best characters in the game, except for Rita. his outfit. I hate the colors. <laughs> I I'm warning you. I don't taste very good. You'll get the runs! <clears throat> oh my gosh! S somebody help me! Ah! Is this kid for real? It's all right now. Yes. Huh? The monster turned into a girl? And what's this thing happening in my pants? <laughs> oh, brother. This should be interesting. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. Hunting Blades Guild. Remember that, uh, the Guild of Monster Hunters? This is their new recruit. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? I need your protection! <laughs> you guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Enter the woods. You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Says in the middle of the woods. I can see the end of the tunnel right over there. Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods ah. and we're on our way to Halor. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Yes. Did you guys run into any egg bears? No. Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? Nope. I don't think we've seen any. We have not found the egg bears. Man, I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear. The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort. To the end of the woods six feet from now? See that? I've even got my own Blastia. What? You guys both have one too? Uh, oh, yeah? Whoa, how do you like this? I'm 12 years old. <laughs> it has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait. Who said you could just ride in there? It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? I had to give myself some kind of handicap, or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. <laughs> the hey, lies. That's actually, not too bad. Yo, 
Do you guys even know where you're going? Halora's to the north once you get out of the woods. Come on, guys! Wait for me! We're passing by a treasure chest. Why would we do that? I don't understand Repeat. He's a dog with claws and fangs, but he uses weapons? <laughs> yeah, I guess dogs do usually fight with claws and fangs. Huh? But Repeat's a dog, isn't he? <laughs> repeat is Repeat. What does that mean? <laughs> Whatever he is, Repeat <laughs> doesn't think of himself as a dog. That's why he uses weapons and items. But that's not to say that he thinks of himself as a human, either. I don't really understand, but he seems very proud. <laughs> yep, so show him some respect. Hey, Yuri, are you translating what Repeat's saying? Nah, it's just your imagination. That's gonna happen a lot in this game. <laughs> what Yuri says is basically what Repeat's saying. <laughs> I wonder who that was and why he did that. Anyway, let's continue on to Halor. This is Halor. <laughs> I almost got in trouble. <laughs> the City of Blossoms, Halor. Halor. The City of Blossoms. Yeah, that's right! Don't they have a barrier here? No, they do not. Yes, there should be. You guys haven't been to Hulur before, right? So then you haven't heard about the tree barrier? Tree barrier? Some Blastia fuse to plant life, gain organic qualities, and evolve. The tree barrier of Halor is one prime example of this. I read that in a book. And I just now remembered it for the sake of the conversation. Even though I should have been like, yeah, no, the barrier, it's built into the tree. Well, thank you, Professor. So what's happened to this famous barrier? Someone peed on it. Some dog. Doesn't look like it's doing much right now. Every year, just before the blossoms are in full bloom, the barrier weakens for a while. It's just that time of year right now, and the monsters took the opportunity to attack. Is that when the barrier went down? Yeah, the monsters were taken care of, but the tree is slowly starting to decay. Hey! Wh what is it? Sorry, I gotta run! Bye! He's got his little girlfriend to go hang out with. Does that kid ever sit still? Oh, now when there's a girl present. So I guess you'll be looking for Flynn now, huh, Estelle? Now when she has a man present. <laughs> Doesn't she know we need to keep a low profile? And what happened to looking for Flynn? Ah, we made it to Holor. Beautiful town. Love it. You start to appreciate the barrier blaster now that it's gone. We were lucky to get away from with just bruises, but the elderly. The elderly what? <laughs> Father, this is so embarrassing. I, d I, I cannot face the citizens of the city. Might I help heal your wounds? Oh my, you can use healing arts? So can anyone else if they have a blastia. Why, that would be excellent. But I'm afraid we don't have very much money. No, no. I don't need any money. 
just your undying loyal Amazing. support as the I run for president of this country. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, uh, please don't mention it. My heavens, what amazing healing arts you have. How can we ever thank you? No, really, think nothing of it. What a humble young lady. I wish the Imperial Knights could follow your example. <sighs> Not a chance. The Knights refuse to lift a finger to protect us from the monsters. Well, I guess the Empire couldn't care less what happens to us here. No, th that's not true. Ah, but that one night sure was different, wasn't it? Yes, that young man. If not for him, we would have all been lost. The barrier weakened earlier than usual this year, and we were attacked before the guild could come to protect us. Oh. There was a knight who happened to be passing through our town on a pilgrimage. He and his brigade drove off all the monsters. A knight on a pilgrimage? Was this knight named Flynn by any chance? Yes, his name was Flynn Shifo. Is he still in the city? No, he left five minutes before you arrived. No, he left the village afterwards in search of a mage who could fix the barrier. Ospio. You know where he went? So, he went to go find a mage. In the city of mages, Ospio, where Yuri's heading, because he needs to go track down some person, a mage from Ospio, who stole the Blastia. It looked like he was headed east, but beyond that I couldn't tell you. I see. So we can wait here, and Flynn will come to us. Looks like we've caught up with him. Don't you feel better now? Yes. I won't be able to relax until I see him. I guess I feel better. But my heart's all a flutter, and I know I need to see him so that I can kiss him. I think I'll go have a look at this famous tree. Want to come with? No. Ah, yes. Yuri, you don't mind? You're okay not going after the Blastia core thief? I can spare enough time to look at a tree at least. I know, right? I can spare the time to look at a tree. This Carol guy is kind of weird. Yeah. He does seem a bit restless, but that doesn't make him a bad person. He doesn't seem evil. But I'll bet he's got some weird thoughts going on in his head. Yeah. You're only saying that because you can see some of yourself in him. You think the two of us are alike? Yes. It's like you have genuine emotions, but your pride won't let you show them. So oh. I can't bring myself to dislike him. Huh. Did I upset you? No, that's just some pretty no, deep insight. No, I'm just pretending not to have my feelings hurt. Is all. Hey! <laughs> I had the wrong person. And none of the others from the guild are here either. I kept her waiting so long. She must have gotten mad and left. I wanted to show her Halur's flowers in full bloom. Then maybe... Carol, what's the matter? The girl I have a crush on doesn't like me back. Where'd she go? Is she really gone? I'm doing the best I can. Carol? Let's give him some time alone. It's over. It's over. It's all over. It's really over. Everything. Everything is over! Ah, uh, the traumas of being a young child with your first crush. Yeah! We got weapons now! We're gonna beat those monsters! The Marrow's gonna let us fight now! They have... They have Shinai. Let's beat up those monsters just like Flan! Can you hold your Shinai correctly? You're pissing me off. Yeah! Even those kids are trying to fight. I hope the barrier is... Me too. Sorry, I jumped the gun there. I was thinking about those kids and how they were holding the Shania by the blade. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> At the very least, if you do, it has to be up towards the, the top of the hilt. Like how you would with a real sword. It's huge up close. The tree's flowers should blossom any day now. I would love to spend time on, at that tree, sitting uh, You have no idea, I would be laying in that grass daily. Yeah, I wish I could see it in bloom. I know how you feel. There's something about the image of a tall tree vibrant with blossoms and protecting the city that's so... romantic. You know, 
I'm gonna stay here and help heal the injured. Hmm. Okay. If you're gonna heal something, maybe you could heal the barrier itself. What do you mean? When monsters come again, more people are gonna get hurt. Which means they're going to heal again. <laughs> Those kids we just saw could be among them. They could be dead. <laughs> That's true. But I have no idea how I could heal the barrier. Well, you need to heal us this tree. It wouldn't be in this condition just because some monsters attacked it. That is true, though. You have to heal the tree to keep away the monsters. You think there's some other reason? I think there's gotta be. What are the two of you doing over here? The party's happening over there. We're trying to figure out why the tree has withered like this. I don't know if you'll make much progress on that one. The Knight Flynn couldn't figure out the reason either. The the person who figures it out is the most least unexpected person who could have figured it out. Oh, Carol. Carol, we need your help. What are you talking about? It seems these two are trying to figure out the reason the trees withered so. Oh, is that all? <laughs> Oh, is that the, the love of my life has rejected my feelings and you're worried about the lives of a few billion people and a whole settlement of, of everything? What do you mean, is that all? I know the reason. It's why I was in the forest looking for the egg bear. Huh? What are you talking about? Look closely at the ground. Notice the strange color? That color is where the ground absorbed the blood of monsters who attacked the town. That blood has been poisoning Halur's tree. What? The monster blood? I had no idea. These guys are amazing. Carol, you really know your stuff, don't you? It was nothing. Is there anything we can do to get rid of the poison? I know a way, but... Well, no one believes me. Come on, try us. I think we'd be able to do it if we had a panacea bottle. Maybe we can get one in the general store. Let's go, Yuri. And you need an owl berry to make a panacea. Even though Dayton Hold was struggling without a barrier, they'd have had issues even with one. Yes, barriers really do have a big impact on people's day-to-day -day lives. Well, they keep people safe from monsters just by being there. It's no surprise it changes things. I want to help heal Halur's tree as soon as possible so that everyone can feel safe again. Anyway, everyone, that's going to be today's episode. When we get back, we're going to discover more of what's happening with Halur. Okay? Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.